Hi guys, welcome to my plasma edition. I rised it a little bit and it's created with this particular ISO. The topic of the video is how to stay rolling. When we release our ISOs, we also want you to educate and think along with us what changed, what's new, how to stay rolling, because that's the, the idea to get the knowledge not to do a clean install every other month or every other week, but just keep updating all the time and know how everything fits together. And that's why we have this um, videos, how to stay rolling. We have an optical drive that is totally empty, but I've downloaded the old version from July. Now this holiday, 2021, July and August, we had a few things going on, right? Lots of changes. And I'll first update, well, install, that's the first thing. And you may have noticed, let's do that again. So a right control R resets your virtual box and boots again. You'll see that this is the old bias and the old um, setting to boot up. We have made new choices and we hope that we can support more people with it. As, as always in my videos, I tell you guys, use tap, add any line in here, type, keep typing things and tell to the kernel to do this, to do that. And no epic, etc., etc. No mode set. Those are things that can pass to the kernel. So that's changed in um, the new release, the holiday release, we call it. But first, we're gonna make an old installation from the ISO of July, an update, and make you smarter what changed actually. And then later on, we'll make a video what's new. I'll not. Well, I'll pause the video from time to time since uh, this is not an update, an installation video per se, but it is a how to stay rolling video. So just go quickly through the standard installation and unpause. So our welcome is changed in mid August. You'll see you can run Gparted, that's the same update Arch Linux, that's okay. This we no longer need. Calamar is improved. So we can say ButterFS or F2FS, etc. We've also a new Calamar's version. And this is, well, the what we call now the advanced look with lots and lots of choices, which is troublesome for a beginner. So we've made an easy installation, a beginner installation as well. So not going to install anything. That's what we always said. Pass through. Do not select anything. If you don't know what to click, don't click. It's better than click. So erase disk, no swap and so on. You'll see in the next ISO of the holiday ISO, you have here a drop down to say X4, ButterFS, etc. Next. So thanks to the guys of Calamaris for developing that or implementing that. So this is the time where I say, let's pause. All right, he's done. He says so. So read. So now we're going back in time. We're in July. Well, probably end June. Then we test a week. Then AAG tests a week. And then we have mid July, the release. And then we start to, well, update, right? To stay rolling means Ctrl-Alt-T, you update your system from time to time, monthly, weekly, whatever. But at some point in time, we communicate with you guys, hey, our bandwidth is, is, is just, well, was way out. It was 10% uh, more than uh, we paid for. So it was kind, we're actually uh, profiting from uh, free bandwidth. So. We just said, okay, let's um, buy some more bandwidth and move. Well, that was the result. The guys of Seedhost moved us from server one to server two, from server bike to server and. And that's the first thing we'll see here. So that we've, we've done that, I think, not that long ago, a few, well, maybe week, two weeks ago. What we've done in the meantime, we've created a, an, um, alias 
and is anarcho mirrorless or narco mirrorless. But at this point in time, that does not exist yet. So it's just a simple sudo and then nano etc pacman d and arco linux mirrorless. It's bike. No, it's end. That's the only thing, right? It's pointing to the wrong server and hence we've also had to well make the iso deliver you the isos of september already mid-august because it was pointing all to the wrong servers nothing could be downloaded nothing could be installed because hey the service changed so that's one thing so that's one thing you have to change it's that simple it's just that simple Ch changing between bike and host and there can be only one pacman available right so just stay on one terminal and update again now it's pointing to the right servers all these bike things are gone he has found and and all the rest is this is not us this is arch deciding to rename something and then we try to install it i do believe there was some kind of key error because let's do a control f if you got stuck uh, anywhere there is also this one number 2060 2163 mate desktop at some point in time somebody told me on facebook hey there's a new mate desktop 1.26 and i wanted to have a look at it and i fixed the issues along the way stay rolling so here is also explained what you should do basically it's a stay rolling video right knowledge of how to stay rolling in windows in mac in Linux it matters let's see no keyring so so if you have a keyring problem that happened here and the uh, solution in here as well it has to do with a certain person from Arch Linux Hesse I think it was called uh, here it is Christian Hesse so eworm arch linux dot org is the mail and that gave another opportunity to teach you how to fix things maybe it will still no it won't occur, occur anymore it's just a simple update changing by to end done now an update control t the alias update is pretty much Arch Linux, sudo pacman minus syyu. It's, it's the general update thing. There is also something called up all, which is going to use the alias from Paru. We used to have uh, yay in there. You can still use yay, it's fine. It's available. Trizen is there as well. Um, Pacower is one other. So these are all AOR helpers. That's what you Google for Arch Wiki AOR helpers. There are more than that. AOR or Arch Linux. Often I start with this Arch Linux Wiki and then NVIDIA, AMD. In this case, AOR helpers. You see? And here are all the guys that can help you to build packages from the AOR Aura, Pakaur, Paku, Paru, Pikaur, Trizen, yay. Again, as usual, it's all about choosing now if you do an update it depends what you give what you're getting here but there are lots of things that are pointing to the etc scale etc scale means it's not applied it means it's going to the settings the updates are going to this file or folder better this etc scale you think eric it's empty there's nothing in there control h right view show hidden files control h it contains the new bash rc it contains etc etc it contains all changes that we've made that are now on the new holiday iso if you want to really stay rolling and really follow the article next isos what we've changed and all that that needs to go into your home directory now Normally we did it like this. For years we've done it Control C 
and then go to Eric and Control V and we copy pasted everything. But this was getting tedious and we've made another alias. There is the alias called Skell. Let's clear everything. Clear the alias Skell is exactly going to do what I just told you, but something more. It's gonna make a backup. So if you chose another wallpapers, another icons, and etc. etc. etc., all your configurations will be copy pasted. Dot config. It's going to go to a backup with the date, the year, the month, and so on. And then it's gonna copy paste it over. So scal is safe and quick, but it basically it's a copy paste. Now if I want to show you the new aliases, I can do two things. I can log out, log in, or restart. Or I can do copy my bash. Another alias, copy my bash. And this is new, the narco mirror list, which is fun, of course. Narco, right? And that's ant. Ant is there. So we have a direct line, direct line to important files, important files that we love and like to change etc sdm config or control c pacman config these are things that we often go into so all these things are all in here alias if you're new to arclix we love aliases i think a lot right a lot is in there and occasionally we make videos about them tell about them now this key fix thing remember the mate thing here the video that we had, that's here, oops, that's here, that's here. That video, we explained something. There is something now to fix a key. And let's see, what was it again? Control F, I tend to forget. Is it key fix or is it fix key? I think it's key fix, okay. So key fix, we're removing the Pacman databases. This can be now applied if anything goes wrong with keys. And I should and I will, I should and I will go to here, here, arch wiki keys, right? The package signing and the, the way Arch Linux works has to do with key signing, web of trusts, verifying master keys, and here as well. It's gonna say Pacman key in it. That's basically what's in that script, but a little bit more, right? It's going to get all the stuff in. So hopefully, right, we don't have any key issues because they're important, but sometimes they're, um, yeah. <laughs> so, pseudo, um, no, sorry, the key fix thing. I don't, I don't know if I stopped it, I don't know. And everything just, goes and goes and goes and goes key fix and then hopefully you can update and you have no issues anymore you won't see any key issue problems now talking about keys there's always one thing i always say if you are a distro hopper you often are waiting like a month two months three months six months a year and then you boot up and that's not well, it's okay. I've shown you videos that's super okay. Three, three years old system and booting up and then updating. But what you should know is that you do first Arch Linux keyring. Get that in first. Because in all those months and years that you didn't use Arch Linux, many people are new and many people are not with Arch Linux anymore. So the keyring needs to be updated. And I believe this here is a jump from January or February to August, right? So in between these six months, a lot of people are new and a lot of people are out. So that's what's uh, important to know. And then you can start updating. So stay rolling is actually not a big uh, issue uh, in the sense that it's bike to end in this video anyway. And Mate, we have something more. So you can have a look there if, the, if there is a key issue. Because the key, um, what I can do is the following, Control T. The key fix is simple. The key fix is not nano, but cat 
and then where is it of course i know it's out of my head Alco Linux and then key fix or how we call it we call it we call it fix Pacman and database that's it that's what we've done we've removed the Pacman sync removed this thing Pacman in it Pacman populate and that's it and that fixes everything in the keys so you can do that manually as well of course it's just commands you can type it in Thinking if I forgot anything, um, normally I would go to you with a bin, stay rolling, 2021 and 2021-07 to 09. So September, I know it's August, but um, in here, what did we do? We disabled Havaget, right? And we've removed it. That's okay if you follow their videos and the videos about these keys what did we do we've changed etc uh, system system d system pacman init service this is how it should look this should be your pacman init service if you follow the videos and stage rolling you probably have done that already so that's it this line has considerably changed, two lines gone here, and at the top here, well, at least three lines gone there as well. So that's the Pac-Man in its service. And then there's no problem, half a get can go. Uh, is, it, is it gone? I don't think so. So the Pac-Man minus remove, half a get. So we can remove it now with the script rather than do it manually. So back, 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 nope. Now we go to bin, stay rolling, 2021, this one. And that's how we do it, right? Stay rolling. Don't wanna give you buttons, click here, click there. No, read code, see what's happening to your machine. How to get this gone. Uh, first, we remove the service with systemctl disable, gone. So this file is gone, or it's a link, but okay, it's, it's gone. And the package is gone as well, All right? So that's what's happening to your system. Uh -huh. I think I'm all out of things to say, but do watch what is new video that's coming now on uh, YouTube. And um, that explains maybe also how, yeah, what we've changed and how you can follow along if you just want to stay rolling because that's i think everybody's intention not to install every week a new a new uh, system but keep rolling and just uh, update your system and then be safe and have fun all right enjoy cheers